So talking about Venn diagrams and sets, it's important to start with defining what a set is. A set is essentially just one of these characters which represents everything which is in the in here. Everything in here is called an element and they're notated with these brackets. Everything in between these brackets are elements of set S here, for example. The way you know how many elements are in a set is with n. So n s equals 5 because there are 5 elements in the set s. One example of sets you can use is with all the different types of numbers. First we have the natural numbers. Natural numbers are all whole numbers f starting from 0 and going counting positively. So this would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Then you, next you have integers. Integers are essentially just all whole numbers including negative numbers. So you start with coming from uh, all the negative numbers, negative 3, negative 2, ne negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Keeps going. Now all uh, now the next section is rational numbers. And they're represented with this Q. Keep in mind, all of these symbols are interpreted, I interpreted. Usually they're written in a different way, but it's not possible to write them this way with this program. So keep that in mind. The Q usually has a line sort of like that. The Z usually has a line sort of like that. And the N's line is a bit closer. But rational numbers are essentially all decimal numbers. And they're defined by that P is, your, is the rational number you're trying to prove. Q is just another rational number. And essentially, P has to P and Q have to be integers and Q is not allowed to be zero. This symbol is wrong. It should be something that looks a bit like this. Meaning that P and Q are part of the integer set. Now the next group of numbers are irrational numbers. They're numbers like the square root of two, the square root of seven, or pi. And these are all numbers which you cannot put through this definition and have it work. Lastly, you have the real numbers. Real numbers essentially contain every number. And it's, yes, that's essentially just what real numbers are. They do not include imaginary numbers, though. That's important to note. Now, one another way you can define a set is for example, as I've done with set k here, is you have this type of bracket, 0, comma, 7, and then an end bracket. This means that the in, this is an interval. This means that this set contains every number between 0 and 7, not including 0, which is why this dot here is hollow. This is how it would look like if you put, it, put the interval on an, a number line. The way it's defined is over here using k contains x where 0 is less than x. Uh, it's hard to draw the symbol. Uh, and 7 is greater than x. And x is part of the real numbers. He, again here, there's the ins inside sign. And then you end with a bracket, which I forgot to put in. Now, you could show all this using a Venn diagram. Now, the box here is essentially every single number you can think of, which is a real number, no imaginary numbers. Real numbers is, in this case, is the universe. Now, the first circle in here are all the rational numbers. Keep in mind, irrational numbers also uh, are outside of these circles as they are not rational numbers and they just stay out here. Integers, all integers are rational, meaning that in integers belong inside the rational circle, but not all rational numbers are integers, me which is why integers are inside here and there are no directly rational no numbers inside. And finally, natural numbers are inside the integers group because and all national, natural numbers are either integers or ra rational or real numbers. This means that 
n is a subset of or natural numbers is a subset of integers which is a subset of rational numbers which is a subset of real numbers now for some of the notations over here you have you have this example a Venn diagram with the circle a and the circle b a contains the number 3 and 2 and b also contains the number 2 but also but only contains the number 1 as well so if you want to show only the number 2 you would have to make an intersect which is what a and b have in common of a and b which has this symbol which looks like an upside down u and this set would only contain the number 2 which is what we have here next we have a what if we want to show everything that is in both a and b the way you do this is by saying a union b which is a u u looking symbol and this set would contain 1 2 and 3 just like that a and b all contain 1 2 and 3 finally we have the complement the complement essentially means everything which is not in this set so the complement to a union b in this case would be 4 because 4 is not inside of a nor b so this set only contains 4 then comes the question what what would it mean if a set doesn't have anything in it well this means that it is an empty set and it has this symbol here c in this case which is the circle has nothing in it while 7 is out here outside the circle doing nothing meaning that c on its on its own is an empty set while the complement of c using that apostrophe looking symbol would contain 7 and the way you show that that um, a set is a subset of another set is using this symbol the c with a line under it in this case i've shown that natural numbers are a subset of uh, integers so it, you would show it something like this where n is a subset of integers moving on you have problem solving using a venn, di vi venn diagrams and sets so here we have a class of 40 students where we're trying to find out how many of the students are black haired, how many have black hair and brown eyes, how many have only brown eyes, and how many students have neither. So we know that that 34 students have are black haired or have black hair and brown eyes. We also know that 22 students are either uh, either have black hair and brown eyes or have only brown eyes. And we also know that two of the students have neither. We know that there's 40 students in the class, so we can use this to find out how many students have specifically only black hair, black and black hair and brown eyes, and only brown eyes. We can start over here by trying to isolate A. We know that C plus B equals 22, so we can take the formula used here and substitute C plus B for 22 and substitute D for 2. That that means you have A plus 22 plus 2 equals 40. That We reduce that to A plus 24 equals 40, and then we isolate A. It, so it says 40 minus 24 equals A, and that means A equals 16. We do the same for all the other values, and then we end up with 16 students have black hair, 18 students have uh, black hair and brown eyes, and 4 students have neither. Moving on, we can prove that 0 0.9 recurring is an integer. You do this by using the, de the definition for an integer. An integer is essentially just a whole number. So, we make, up, we make a formula here that shows that 0 0.9 recurring equals to x, then we say that 0 0.9 recurring is multiplied by 10 and x is also multiplied by 10, which means this is legal because you're doing the same operation on both sides. Next, you reduce it to 9.9 .9 recurring and 10x. Next, you try and subtract 1x, in the, uh, 1x being 0 0.9 recurring, so you get 0 0.9 recurring 
9.9 9 recurring subtracted by 0 0.9 recurring equals to 10x minus x because this is essentially all you're doing. That means that 9 equals 9x, 1 equals x, meaning that 1 equals to 0 0.9 recurring. And since 1 is an integer, that means that 0 0.9 recurring is also an integer. Another, another thing to mention is what different types of sets are called. This set here, set S, would be called a discrete set because it only contains a specific amount of, of elements, which would be a, an, a finite amount of elements. A continuous set would be something like K or, yes, essentially just K. Because K only shows that it, the set contains everything between 0 and 7 and nothing else. So that means that everything inside here is part of set K, but that's not that's it doesn't show specifically which numbers there are, meaning that there's an infinite amount of numbers and decimal numbers and and all that sorts of stuff within this set because it's an interval.